I'm sure you've heard that climate scientists now warn of increased climate change events as carbon emissions fail to drop. In fact, we just hit a new record, and it is all over the headlines. And it couldn't be further from the truth. And we're going to break it down. Now, if we're all burning up, why is there bumper snowfalls right at the beginning of winter in Australia? And at the same time, we have the coldest May in 71 years in North America in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Seattle's coldest April and May, soon to be chased by a cold June. And hundreds of other cold records. Swaths of Canada are dealing with heavy June snow. Vancouver Island snowpack is currently at 150% of average. Severe cold spell warnings were just issued for Zimbabwe. And the global temperature decreased by 0.09 C in just one month, the month of May. Not only that, the total snow mass for the Northern Hemisphere has been well above the 30-year average. In fact, this year and last year, both 500 gigatons above the 30-year average. That's very significant. That's quite significant. That wouldn't be happening in a warming world. And they want you to believe that Earth's carbon dioxide has something to do with temperature. So here's the graph of average monthly atmospheric CO2 levels from the Mauna Loa Observatory, and it goes up, up, and away with a yearly fluctuation, up and down. But the temperature is not doing that at all. In fact, the temperature has been pretty consistent since 1998 with no catastrophic warming whatsoever. In fact, very little warming whatsoever Potentially 0.1 degrees C. That would be the consensus. But not with the mainstream media. It's fear, fear, fear. Push the fear and the nightmare of this climate catastrophe. Carbon dioxide is Earth's, in Earth's atmosphere soars to levels not seen for millions of years, according to NOAA. Well, with no context, how would anyone know what that means? Well, they don't care. They're not here to prepare you. They're here to scare you. So NOAA reports carbon dioxide reaches levels not seen in millions of years. And they're right. But they're also idiots. Because in just the last few million years, carbon dioxide has been so low, it's been dangerously low. It's, it's been near a threshold of not supporting life on Earth. And what we should actually be looking for as an optimum is somewhere around the 500 or above parts per million. And this is proven in the current literature, especially Gerhardt and Ward. They wrote the book on CO2 and how it supports life on Earth. And their, this paper here, the 2010 paper, comes to a conclusion of a, limit, uh, of a low threshold. During the last glacial maximum, 18,000 to 20,000 years ago, and in also previous glacial periods, the CO2 dropped so low, 180 to 190 parts per million. It was amongst the lowest concentrations that ever occurred on Earth, ever. And it severely affected the evolution of land plants. It couldn't support life. And in their 2005 paper and the 1994 paper, they concluded that there is a theoretical minimum threshold for life on Earth, and that's at 170 parts per million. We should not be trying to stay anywhere near that. That means that plants can't live. Humans can't live. Life ceases to exist in this little realm. And the plant optimum here is quite high. 500 parts per million or higher is optimum respiration. And those are the facts on plants. Now, the global temperature on Earth in the last 500 million years has shifted dramatically up and down up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And with it, the CO2 concentration also shifts. CO2 here is in purple, 
And delta T, or the change in temperature, is in blue. And you can see we're not at the lowest temperatures on Earth. That would be back here during the Carboniferous or Permian 290, 290, 300 million years ago. It was very cold. And at the same time, CO2 concentrations were very low. But there were times in the Jurassic when CO2 was very low and temperature was extremely high. 20 degrees warmer than now. And there were times when the CO2 spiked and the temperature dropped. There's no correlation between CO2 and temperature, period, in the geologic record. Only in the fanatical minds of the climate hystericals, the people that are being paid by the government to write papers, which then results in failed policy, which is bankrupting the world. And it's not to save you. It's to control you. CO2 is so low, so dangerously low that, well, according to peer-reviewed papers, we are at near the threshold of non-survival. And they want, to, they want to reduce CO2 even further. How stupid is that? Hope you got something out of the video. All the links will be below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Become a Patreon and support the work we do. We have a very important interview early in the morning with Mario Buildrep, so stay tuned. And that's a boom. Yeah.